An aircraft shooting incident during the Cold War put Britain's ally, the US, in a position of need. In collaboration with Lockheed Skunk Works, the country developed a spy aircraft that flies roughly 85,069 feet at 2,193.2 miles per hour. However, another secret aircraft reached 95,000 feet. For today's video, we will discuss the insane engineering of Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Is it still the fastest aircraft 2022? Let us begin. A U-2 plane was shot down in Soviet territory in 1960. The plane was caught taking aerial photographs in Soviet airspace. Quite embarrassing for the U.S. government, they decided to cover the story. Their best defense was that the plane was a stray weather research craft and was not a spy plane. Therefore, the Soviet government was forced to release photos of the surveillance equipment tucked into the supposed stray weather craft and its pilot, who the Soviet army had captured. And as we all know from the history books, on May 1st of 1960, Gary Powers got shot down over Russia in the U-2 aircraft. This situation left the U.S. government with a vid to fill. The incident threatened to affect their efforts to keep Soviet dominance from spreading across the east of Europe during the Cold War. As such, they searched for the answer in a new spy plane. This one had to fly above 90,000 feet and at high speed. Additionally, it had to be safe from anti-aircraft fire and almost invisible to Air Force radar. Secret stuff. <laughs> the ambitious request for a 90,000 feet flying spy plane was outdone with a 95,000 feet flying A-12. Its abilities were so sharp that the CIA used it below its capacity. We will share details of this insane spy plane shortly. Thus, this incident gave birth to the fascinating Lockheed SR-71. Today, such a task is not as daunting. With people like Elon Musk creating large EVs, reusable spaceships, and autonomous driving machines. However, with the little computing advancement of the 60s, this spy plane was absolutely ambitious. In fact, so ambitious that the US government could only think of the most acclaimed aircraft design, Clarence Kelly Johnson. Johnson was only 22 when Lockheed hired him, and six years later, the entire fate of Great Britain rested in his hands as he designed a plane in two days for World War II. He became the head of research at Lockheed and headed the Skunk Works, a secret division of engineers. For him, everything had to be invented, never repeated. The original Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird test flight happened on April 30, 1962. The first plane was a member of the Blackbird family, but it was called the A-12. Christian Nelson, an aviation expert, revealed on Quora that the A-12 Oxcart was a super-secret, single-seater spy plane and was more secret and much rarer than the SR-71. In fact, the SR-71 was actually developed from the A-12. There were 12 of the A-12s marked as USAF to mean the United States Air Force, although only the CIA flew them. The planes were created to retire the U-2 spy planes. However, the A-12 and SR-71 were both retired before the U-2. Of course, the U-2 still flies to this day. Nevertheless, Lockheed, who also designed the A-12 Oxcart, put its official flying capabilities at 2,221 miles per hour, or Mach 3.35 above 95,000 feet. Then the SR-71 Blackbird of 1964 flew 85,000 feet high at 2,112 miles per hour, or Mach 3.2. In 1974, the SR-71 flew an hour and 54 minutes from New York to London, including refueling time. That was fast. Nonetheless, the CIA never went all the way with the aircraft. They maintained some 5,000 feet lower and 3 miles per hour slower. Still, the pilots had to wear spacesuits due to the high altitude. In fact, the planes were so fiery hot that the pilots warmed their lunch by attaching the food to their glass in front of them in their cramped up cockpits. Such high altitudes might have definitely racked up a few accolades. Soon we will share the two top records that the SR-71 holds to date and where you can find them now, aside from inside the Grand Theft Auto 5. The Lockheed SR-71 is noted to fly at the tip of outer space and outfly a missile. The aircraft emerging in the era of spy planes 
had no defensive capabilities except the ability to detect a missile and accelerate to outrun it. 56 years later, the SR-71 still holds the records for the fastest non-rocket-powered aircraft and highest altitude in horizontal flight. The aircraft was equipped with a high-resolution optical bar camera that could capture a 72-mile wide area using a 2-mile spool of film. It was dubbed the country camera due to its high performance. The sleek, long fuselage design is so modern that its place in architectural history is solidified for life. The black paint that dissipates high-altitude heat also earned the aircraft its Blackbird nickname. Why was the Blackbird retired? Subscribe to this channel to find out. In 1976, the SR-71 flew at a sustained altitude of 85,069 feet. It reached a top speed of 2,193.2 miles per hour, alternatively, Mach 3.3. The record still holds today. You can also set a new record while playing GTA 5 Lockheed SR-71 test flight. Finally, once spy satellites and drones became a quieter, instant, and more feasible mode of spying, the SR-71 program was halted. The 1990s saw the last of the Blackbirds, with NASA using two of the aircraft in 1999 to complete high-altitude aeronautical research. Following that, all surviving Blackbirds have been set in museums. The CIA has many stories that are fascinating and halfway scary. Our next video will focus on the mysteries discovered from Project Azorian, U.S. CIA mission to recover sunken Soviet submarine K-129 exposed.